Hey guys, we're about part way through our build and uh, now comes the fun part. Most of the, the work's been done inside and uh, one of the things I've always, I've always wanted was to have a bumper for our fan. Um, being a 2019, there are a number of concerns when you look at uh, a front bumper uh, due to the number of sensors, uh, that sort of thing that uh, Mercedes have had installed um, onto the van. Um, the, there are really only three options uh, out there. There's the full steel metal bumper that completely replaces the plastic. Um, there's uh, the trays that kind of go behind the factory OEM plastic bumper, uh, or sometimes called a hidden uh, winch tray. Um, and then there's the, the third kind, which uh, is the hybrid, which is essentially is a smaller bumper that uh, goes over the, uh, the factory plastic. And uh, one of the things that uh, we, you know, it was important to us was to, to make sure that whatever we put in it is structurally sound, it works, and it, it's of, you know, good quality. And on top of that, it cannot interfere with the factory uh, Mercedes, um, uh, you know, navigation systems or sensors, that, that sort of thing. When it came down to choosing the bumpers, um, really it came down to, to, you know, two things, quality as well as uh, appearance. Um, the VS30 is actually a pretty, you know, curvy looking vehicle and um, having to to put in a bumper uh, onto the vehicle, it's really got to match the the appearance and the body lines uh, well. Uh, we don't want it to look like something that was slammed in, um, you know, after the fact. It's really got to work together with uh, the rest of the vehicle. Um, so as a result, we decided not to go with one of the uh, full steel bumpers for a couple of reasons. First of all, you know, with the steel bumpers, it, it really doesn't quite work very well with the body lines you know you end up with you know uh, your straight uh, you know sharp corners and tr trying to resolve the straight sharp corners with the the curves of the van you end up you know with gaps and you know things that just kind of don't you know um, look very uh, integrated and, and the other thing also is with the steel bumpers it, it's it's very heavy right so you don't want to be you know putting in two three hundred pounds of uh, steel uh, in, in you know on the nose of your van on top of that you, you might have things you know especially for us like you know 160 pounds of batteries uh, uh, up front so weight is a concern um, so what we ended up doing was to go with a uh, bumper from CA tuned and uh, it's a bumper that um, We've kind of been you know eyeing for a long time as soon as it came out I knew right away that was the the best option for us so I'm no bumper expert, but uh, three things are important to me when it comes to bumpers. Uh, the first thing is, you know, how does it attach to the frame? Um, is it going to be secure or is it going to twist or rotate? Uh, second is, you know, how well is the bumper built? Is it going to be able to hold the weight of the uh, winch um, or the recovery? And third, you know, is uh, recovery points. You know, are the recovery points going to be useful? Or are they going to be strong? Um, so let's uh, maybe talk about the, the way it's mounted to the frame. Um, so when you install a bumper like this, uh, Mercedes has uh, a part of the frame that uh, sticks out this way and uh, it's kind of like a, like a plate and you, you install your four bolts to it and that's how the factory uh, bumper actually mounts. Um, with CA Tune, what uh, Max has done was uh, install two more uh, wings or tabs off to the side and and these um, devices are uh, I, I believe essential and uh, non-negotiable um, because these four bolts really are not going to be strong enough to withstand a pull i don't think it's designed to to have a forward uh, type of uh, tension and uh, having these wings on the side uh, allow you to put a bolt through here and a bolt up this way as well these bolts are on the factory uh, frame, so you don't have to drill holes or do any tapping or through bolt or anything like that. It's already there. You just unscrew it from the factory body and you just, you know, slap the bumper on and you just screw it back. Um, having these uh, two uh, tabs, uh, I think are going to be critical to give you that extra strength uh, to hold the bumper in place rather than, you know, risk it pulling out of the, the van when you're uh, doing a pull, uh, especially a hard one. Um, so that, you know, to me, I think it's a critical thing. And if you're going to be looking at a, at a bumper, you know, make sure, you know, it comes with these tabs. Um, and, uh, you know, if it's just this alone without these two tabs, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, recommend it. 
um, so the next thing is you know the construction of the the bumper. Uh, so this bumper is um, 316 steel, and um, the way it's built, it seems like it's 316s all way all the way. I didn't see anything uh, thinner than that. I mean, obviously the, the tube is different. I I don't know what the size of the, the metal is, but. Um, Everything is welded, so there's no bolted on uh, pieces, which makes it really strong and, and rigid. Um, if you look at the tray here, this is the part that's the most uh, interesting to me. It's got this two inch uh, lip that goes above. And it's, um, I think this is gonna be a really nice feature because it really helps uh, increase the stability and the rigidity of the, the bumper. Um, when you put a, winch on here uh, that's where it sits on um, any side pull is gonna give it a bit of a twisting motion and having the extra uh, lip here is gonna really help also um, with the hitch uh, receiver here it's uh, gonna really help with the um, the strength of the receiver especially if you're doing a bike mount and you have a uh, e-bike that's really heavy on it um, the receiver is actually welded on to the um, bottom of the tray so it's uh, it's pretty strong and the nice thing is the weld goes all the way around over and back this way and uh, it's I think it's welded all the way through so when it comes to recovery points there are two recovery points on the bumper there's this one here and there's one on the other side and the hitch uh, receiver could be a third recovery point as well uh, the first thing that I saw when I looked at this uh, is the the welds on it um, it, it, it's really clean and uh, it, it really looks nice. And this um, shackle uh, receiver uh, point here, uh, it, it's actually pretty neat. It actually extends all the way to the back of the um, of this structure over here. You know, you might be able to see it. I'll, I'll put a picture up. Um, and it's fully welded to this plate. And um, you know, as a result, it's going to be really strong because everything is welded uh, into place and it transfers the the load. To the the tabs here and into the body of the the van um, some of the recovery points that i've had in the past on my previous bumpers uh, don't really offer that they just you know either they're either you know welded onto the face that's it or they are bolted on with the uh, backing plates and to me that's just you know not not as strong um, of a recovery point so in the kit, you also get uh, this piece over here. And what this piece does is uh, it allows you to uh, relocate your um, factory um, you know, crash sensor on the, the VS30. And it just goes in here and gets bolted onto the, the bumper. I almost threw this guy away uh, <laughs> until I realized what it's for. Uh, this is actually a, a measuring um, template to help you cut the, uh, the, the bumper of your, of your van and you just kind of lay it out um, on, onto the plastic and trace the lines and, uh, and you cut it. So the winch is installed now. Uh, it bolts on underneath the bumper with four bolts uh, supplied by Warren. Um, these two bolts also are supplied by Warren. I use the uh, Factor 55 uh, fair lead for this. Um, there is no need to cut or uh, grind at all. Uh, this fair lead fits perfectly on this bumper, uh, it doesn't hit the the receiver, and uh, it clears the, the welds as well quite well. So <laughs> almost perfectly clears it perfectly. So if you're planning to use the the fair lead that came with the uh, VR Evo, um, I think it's a pretty good fair lead. Uh, looks like the radiuses are pretty nice as well. Um, it should clear the uh, receiver, uh, I feel, because the the, the thicknesses of the two uh, fair leads are, um, or the, the tight of the two fair leads are pretty pretty similar. Um, and the worn uh, design actually has a bit of a recess uh, in the middle here, so I think it should even clear it even, even um, better. 